All right, let's dive right in. It's Scott Beebe, the Business on Purpose podcast, and we have got uh, a situation where we're going to take you in to a live conversation that we had in our group coaching. This is our Four Steps to Business Freedom group coaching where we've got small business owners from around the world in a group, uh, and they're going through systematically the Four Steps to Business Freedom, and then every Thursday morning, we've actually got a live group call. And so Jonathan and I, as coaches, are in on the call with these heroic small business owners, and we're literally walking through every step of the four-step process, and these heroic small business owners are living this out. Chuck Wood is who you're going to hear from, and Chuck runs an interesting, interesting business where he actually uh, has quite a few podcasts, and he has literally built an entire business model on podcasts. And now his technical expertise is in uh, coding, software coding, that sort of thing. And so what he's done is he's leveraged that expertise and he's built a business that's really more media company than it is actual uh, coding company. Now he trains lots of people on Ruby. I don't even know what that is, but uh, he talks a lot about that. Uh, Not necessarily in this podcast, but I want you to hear part of the four steps to business freedom is we teach heroic small business owners how to build what we call a non-negotiable weekly schedule. And I want you to listen closely to what he says is going to be the outcome of the implementation of this schedule that he worked on diligently this week. Any kind of ahas or anything as you went through this process? I know it's a labor, laboring process, but anything stick out to you? You go, wow, this is really going to help solve that challenge just by just because you went through the process. So there were a couple of things. One was just that. Um, so my oldest son and my he, he's currently doing a, a therapy program every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at four thirty p.m. It takes about a half hour to drive there and a half hour to drive back. My wife's been doing that. So uh, the dinner situation kind of gets out of hand. And so just by scheduling that in in the morning while my kids are getting ready for school, that was kind of an aha, like, oh, I can just do this because I have a I have a smoker, a meat smoker. I have a sous vide machine. I have uh, a couple of slow cookers. And so I figure, you know, I can probably make most of a meal that way. And then it's ready when when they get back home. And then just the personal development stuff and working out that I kind of put off because I don't feel like I have time. It's like, hey, look, I, I can I can serve these two purposes. One being I'm I'm routinely getting up at 4 a.m. to go work out. Um, you know, and then when I go take my dad to dialysis, it's, you know, it's I'm just getting up at the same time every day. And so just it, it felt like I could get into a routine and kind of do all the different things that I want to do. And then the other thing was was that um, I realized that if if I wrap all this stuff up by 6 p.m., then, you know, we can pull things together for dinner and then I can do some of the other stuff that I want to do with my kids. So that, that's reading, teaching them to write code, um, you know, all of that stuff. So it, it, awesome. it, just, it, it, it allowed me to kind of time block everything and realize I can get everything that I want to get done and still have time in the evening for my family. Nice. Yeah. And then I don't know if you wanted to add that as, you know, the time of your family, because sometimes things slip if you don't have them there too, but uh, this is great. Now you have a plan to deviate from. Yep. (laughs) Well, it was funny because I got this done and then um, I'm currently, I'm traveling this week and next week for conferences. So I'm not actually living out this schedule because the, the days are taken up by conferences. So um, I'm in Alpharetta, Georgia right now, and next week I'm going to be in Oakland, California, but the week after that, I'm, I'm hitting this hard, and this is this is the plan. That's awesome. Yeah, this is, uh, this everybody, like Mike Tyson says, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face, yeah. and when this is, the, what this is, is your plan, and when you stop reeling from life, like travel or a conference, you have something to go back to. You're not going to, most people yeah. just sit there and they're like, ah, I got to get, I got to get warmed up or back into my routine or something like that. Not you, man. You already have a plan. So yeah. and don't be afraid to change it as, it as it twists. Yeah. I've been tempted to add a, uh, a second sheet to this. It's just kind of a daily schedule for when I'm at, at traveling. Right. So, so that I know, okay, when I get out, you know, like to, uh, to Georgia or to California or whatever, you know, it's just a one day schedule that I repeat over and over again when I'm gone, but it's to get up, to prep for the conference, you know, make the contacts I need to make, make a plan, all that stuff. 
so that, you know, I can make the most of it when I'm gone so that I don't have to come back and play all the catch up and all that good stuff. I want to make sure you heard what I heard. The quote was time with my family. Now you might be listening going, Scott, that's, I mean, is that really a big deal? Well, let me turn the question back around in you. Is it really a big deal? Guys, I've got a 16 year old daughter, year and a half left with her at home, two spring breaks left, essentially one major summer left. Now (laughs) she's still going to be around and we're still going to be doing stuff together. But the reality is the phrase time with my family that jumped out of Chuck's voice when I heard it. Why do you need a non-negotiable weekly schedule? Time with your family to make time that matters most, not to mention everything else. But I want that one thing to pierce you. The reason I did this podcast is because I want that phrase to stick in your head and to replay over and over and over and over and over again. Listen, we're proud of what you're building and we want you to work with great diligence, systems, process, vision, mission, values, most importantly, implementation. You can start by going to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash vision. And we'll see you right here next time on the Business on Purpose podcast.